Welcome back, everyone, to episode 49. Thanks for joining us for this very special week. Chris, we talked about SpaceX landing their rocket and taking us closer to space travel. And one day, maybe, our technology will be as good as a galaxy far away. That was a long time ago. Oh, my gosh. But they're 30 years closer because a new episode came out that was set 30 years after Return of the Jedi. And if you haven't figured out yet, we're talking about Star Wars. Star Wars. Now, we're promising right now there will be absolutely zero spoilers. I can't say that enough times because people are really freaking out about the spoilers oh, yeah. of this movie. I know people like, that more, went off the line. Like more than I think for most movies that people do. Like it's been very intense with people like with spoilers. We have a guy at work who every time anyone even mentions Star Wars, he like plugs his ears and is like, la, 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 la. So, um, no, no joke. I'm not even kidding. I wish I was kidding, but he literally does it every time he thinks someone is talking about Star Wars. It's kind of funny and kind of sad. I don't like spoilers, but not that much. So, Chris, you finally saw Star Wars last night. I yes. saw it at 7 p.m. Thursday, so the earliest showing that I could possibly get to because they won't let me go to the world premiere in L.A. No. Because I'm not famous enough. But one day I will be famous enough to go to the L.A. world premieres. And then I can talk about movies before they're out for anyone else to Hopefully see. Hopefully Star Wars Episode 8 and 9. Oh man, I hope by then you're big enough to go to a premiere. That would be sweet. So, Chris, thoughts? Um, no spoilers. No spoilers. Man, it's so hard to do this without spoilers. It's basically, good movie? Good movie. People should go see it? Uh, yes. You can watch it without seeing the other ones, but some of the comedy and some of the things that show up you will not understand. Absolutely. The movie was definitely set so that old fans and new people could equally enjoy the movie, but there were some things that were there for the fans to catch and notice um, that you wouldn't, that you would miss if you hadn't seen the mm -hmm. other movies, but you wouldn't necessarily felt like you were missing something, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. I hope this is not a spoiler. Don't say it then. I well don't say it. Okay, I'm not gonna say, say it. it then. I'll say it in the other piece. We'll then. say it for for the other piece we're doing. Okay, don't say it. All right. So there was some great stuff in the movie. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was probably the most enjoyable movie I saw. I don't know if I'd say it was the best movie that came out this no. year. No, but it was definitely the most enjoyable for me to watch and to anticipate. Now, granted, that has a bit to do with nostalgia and the fact that it's Star Wars, and a lot to do with the movie was just really good. Mm -hmm. Daisy Ridley played her part really well. John Boyega played his part really well. Um, of course, the returning cast was as good as they've ever been, so however you felt about them, you'll feel probably the same way. Um, yeah, the new cast... I mean, the new cast, though, was so good. Oh, yes. Um, but especially Daisy Ridley and John Boyega, they really just blew me away with how they good they're... Very good. Their acting very, was. Very well. They did a very good job. Uh, they are going to have good careers in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Just going to throw that out there. And that's all we're going to say. And if you want to catch the rest of our discussion that um, is full of spoilers and our thoughts and everything, you will have to go onto YouTube and go to the Weekly Flares page and find the video there. Yes. And we will have all of our wonderful thoughts and opinions and all of that will be there for you to enjoy and yell at us in the comments because you disagree with everything we've said. Or yell at everyone who's yelling at us because you agree with everything we've yes. said. Or you could do both. Yell at yourself if you want to. We're not too picky on the YouTube comments. So that's that. Chris. Yes. So Christmas is coming up. Two days. Yes, it is in two days. You done on your shopping? Yes. Did almost Good. majority of my shopping on Amazon. When was it done? Sunday. So you waited longer than me. Because mine was done the Sunday before. Wow. Actually, I knew what I was going to buy before, and then I just didn't do it. Because I was like, I just kept putting it off. All my Amazon gifts were shipped and delivered. And I had to get some other gifts that were... I got those all Sunday, so I, nice. I'm I'm done. Nice. nice. 
I'm so done. my family, we already had our Christmas as a family because we're all traveling for over the holidays to different places. Well, most of us are going to the same place, but some of us are going to other places. And so we did our family Christmas already, and Rachel and I did ours tonight because we will be going to see her family. Uh, Chris, she got me Super Mario Maker. Wow. I know. That was so special. I bet. Because we've been talking about buying it since it came out, and we haven't. And I played a little bit tonight before you got here. It's pretty fun. There's some very creative people out there in the world, and I'm probably never going to build a stage now because mine will never be that good. But there's a lot of good ones to play, and I'm going to enjoy that. And I can also use all my amiibo in that game. Every single one of them wow. unlocks something, whether it's just a costume or a new piece or something. I think most of them are just costumes. It doesn't say that, but I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure they're all just costumes. But the game's a lot of fun, so I'm excited to get into that. But, yeah, that's cool. Cool. So that's, that's my Christmas was good. Because, you know, we did it early. Santa... He doesn't like coming early, but he'll do it if you really beg him to. Exactly. You know, you gotta you gotta really get with him and be like, Santa, look, we're gonna be traveling. Why don't you come early? He'll do it. You just gotta be nice. You can't be naughty. So Chris, uh, so you're working all up until Christmas. Yes. Then you're off Christmas Day. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going. So over you're doing to... all your family stuff in one day. Uh, I'm going to my parents' house tomorrow night. And uh, some church friends of ours that you know will be there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I will probably go home. They said I can spend the night, but I'll probably just go home. And then I'll go there in the morning. And then they leave for Charleston in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. So they'll be going to Charleston. And I will be working. No, I like money. Plans for New Year's? I will probably have a small get-together at my apartment for some people. Well, I will be in Seattle watching the Space Needle explode. Not literally explode, fireworks. Okay, well, that scared me for a minute. Yeah, no. I mean, they're not blowing up the Space <laughs> Needle. I mean, they blow it up every year, but it's just fireworks show. It just like, sounds better when you say explode, but I probably shouldn't say that because do, people might think I actually mean watching it explode, and that would be bad. Do they do 9 o'clock or 12 o'clock? They do midnight in Seattle. Okay, I just want to make sure. Why would they do it at 9? Well, because I always remember when I lived in California watching the TV at 9 o'clock. Right, you'd watch New York. New York, yeah. Yeah, but not California's. No. Yeah. The New Year's is a crazy thing because really, like, by the time we're celebrating New Year here in America, half of the world, almost almost half of the world. They're waking up to the New Year. They've already day. been in the New Year. Yeah. Because, what, China's 12 hours ahead of mm -hmm. us, right? England's five hours ahead of us. Five to six, yep. I mean, depending on daylight savings, right? Mm -hmm. um, and where you are in Europe, too, I suppose. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. But it, whatever. I like New Year's. It's a fun holiday. So I've had a lot of good New Year's experiences. Do you want to uh, spend the New Year in China one year? No. Be the first I ever. Really, I don't know. Maybe if it was, like, a really big year, like if it had been 2000. Ah, but there's not really like a, another big. Maybe 2020 would be like a, a big year. Maybe 2050. Uh, 2050, I'll be too old. I don't want to travel to China. Yeah, anymore. I'll be like, eh, that was Chinese. <laughs> of course, I will probably I'll be speaking Chinese by then. So yep. like, oh, you <laughs> Was that was that too offensive? No. Okay, good. <laughs> um, sometimes I just say things. Uh, it's okay. We do. I, do I mean, my do. grandma's Japanese, so it's not super I, offensive. That's okay. We're, it's Asian. It's all in the Asian family, right? Mm -hmm. They don't agree to that. Chinese and Japanese would not be okay <laughs> with me making that comparison, but whatever. So, yeah, that's the year. That's about it. So, Chris, what do you say we wrap up this episode? That's fine. And then we're going to stop everything, and we're going to come back and record next week's episode. Okay. There'll be a nice surprise for everyone next year as they're getting ready for the new year and then after we do that we're going to record our star wars spoiler episode mm -hmm. and that won't be a numbered episode that's just going to be star wars spoilers up on youtube is episode or the one we're recording for next week is mm -hmm. that going to be a one piece or you want to do two pieces? it'll probably just be a one piece okay it'll probably just be a one piece kind of like our year in review highlights of you know things that we saw things that technology wise whatever just whatever whatever we want to talk about gotcha. it's our year in review it'll probably be the most jumbled mess of episode we've done all year but that's okay you don't have to listen to it if you don't want to but we will talk about some things like the best our favorite movies of the year i'm not gonna say the best because they're our favorite and we didn't see every movie that came out this year so we can't really say it was the best mm -hmm. movie of the year but we can say it's our favorite movie of the years 
And our favorite technology of the year, even though we probably neither of us bought that much new technology this year. And, uh, you know, just that kind of stuff. So if you want to check it out, it will be there for you next week. If you don't, we won't be offended. But we will be offended. But we won't. So if you want to find me online, you can go to Twitter. I'm at James Walton. If you want to find Chris, go to Twitter at Never Lose Heart. If you want to find The Weekly Flare, you can go to theweeklyflare.com. You'll find the Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff. We say it every week. I heard an interesting thing that you don't really need to say that kind of stuff every week because they should just, like, you know, they know to go to your website. Yeah. I don't know. I like saying it every week, but maybe we don't need to. Maybe we can just say, hey, go to theweeklyflare.com. And you'll find everything there. I don't know. I'm so torn now. I never heard that. And then when I heard that, I was like, oh, man, are we, like, boring our listeners to death by saying this every week? Do they care? Do they like hearing it? Do they not like hearing it? I don't know. Maybe they should let us know yes. so I can stop worrying about it. Because I'll just worry about it every time we do this part of the episode. But I won't ramble on like this no. every time, though. So we're going to get out of here because we got a lot more to do tonight. We'll see you guys again in the... Well, two weeks. Technically, we'll see you next week, but we won't really see you next week. So we'll see you again in a few weeks. Peace. <laughs>